Hi, this is our first tutorial in our Fire Emblem 10 hacking series. In this tutorial, we're just going to cover everything we need to be able to hack the game just to get started. First, you're going to need the tools. I have have it in my OneDrive, and I will provide a link to the video description so you guys can get it too. Just going to download it. Just download it, open it up so you guys know it's not a virus or anything. Okay, open. Uh, hacking tools. I'm just going by my desktop. All right. First, we're just going to cover the README file because there's some helpful links and uh, thank yous in here. And yeah, that happens sometimes when I have multiple monitors up for some reason and I try to open files. It's weird. So yeah. First is um, I use Fire Emblem Empire to look up the stats of the. Um, items, characters, classes, you know, so I know what to look for when I'm hacking the game to values so I can change them, so I can find them. And uh, thanks to um, Vincent ASM for these helpful Fire Emblem 10 hacking notes. I use them a lot they, uh, for our useful information. It, it saves me a lot of time from having to try to figure out what values are what. And it should help you a lot too. And special thanks to these two other to others. Um, this guy for providing this tool to compress and uncompress uh, files, um, CMS files, so we can edit the files, and uh, DAC for uh, providing, making the Wii Scrubber program so we can, uh, that tool allows us to uh, extract files and replace them in our game. Alright, second thing you're going to need is a uh, a copy of the game. You can get this from two ways. You can either find it off the internet illegally, or you can do what I do, and like a lot of other people, they just have a hacked way and they back up their game file. Now, the game should come in two file extensions. It should be WBFS or ISO file. Now, if you have it has an ISO file, you're ready to go. You're good to go. If not, you need to convert this uh, to an ISO file. So we're going to do that. I have a tool in here to help do that. It's the, this guy right here. So I'm just going to set him up. I'm just going to launch him. And I'm going to just find a file. I'm going to game file that remember you don't have to do this if it's an ISO file. Click select. I'm just gonna do it on my desktop I guess. So I'm gonna click convert. It's converting now as you can see. And here's the file. So once you're doing that we can set up Wii Scrubber and go over a few other things. So for Wii, Sc Wii Scrubber we're just gonna extract all. I'm just gonna extract it to this folder. Um. Yeah. So you're gonna notice if you try to run the program, you're gonna get a warning saying um, unable to gen open a key typing file. You need to generate this file. Luckily, this is easy. All you do is uh, run this app. Oh, it's done converting. Cool. So here's our game file. You can just exit out of that. It's an ISO file. So we go properties. So, and also, so we can get back to doing this whole make key bin thing, get to bin file. So just run this as an administrator. Follow these instructions. It's pretty easy. Just put in 42, click generate. You see the files were created and click exit. Now if you run it, you shouldn't get any errors. Yeah. Just going to exit out of that for now. Uh, next program I'm going to cover is uh, X Editor. X Editors are uh, used by programmers and other people to, for, uh, pretty much as a byte uh, by editor. All of, all the, um, let me restart that. This is Hex, Hex Editor and it's basically a binary file editor or it allows you to edit bytes. All of um, data in the Fire Emblem game is represented from a byte, which is a 
integer value, whole number, x um, from 0 to 255. So this pretty much lets us edit those values. So we can, this is what we use to actually hack the game. Um, next is our compressor tool. Now you can run it. It should open. If not, it might ask you to install some .NET uh, stuff. I think .NET 3.5. Just follow the instructions, and it should install. If not, if you're having issues, I know I had issues getting working, so I re reinstall Windows because I had a lot, of, a lot of Visual Studio stuff for programming for my programming tasks, and I had a new version of .NET, and I had backwards compatibility issues. So you can try that. You can try and install everything in a control panel, that's .NET, and then try to reinstall this again. Hopefully that will work. If not, I just wiped Windows. Alright, um, and you would need one more thing to actually run the game, if you guys heard of it. Uh, so we can actually run a game on our uh, computer. You can also send it back. You can also play it off the hacked Wii if you have one of those two. Just download Dolphin. Pretty cool program. Allows you to play Wii games and GameCube games on the computer. It's an emulator. And you should be ready to everything should be ready to go. And next tutorial we actually cover how to hack um, an item stats. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for listening. See you later.